Oilseed rape, one of the most important plants for human and animal nutrition, but also for energy production. Oilseed rape is a valuable cash crop, contributes to balanced crop rotation, and honeybees feed on it. But growing oilseed rape is not easy. The biggest problem Many different insects, for example cabbage flies, flea beetles and turnip sawflies, like to feed on these plants and they do a lot of damage. Here you see the cabbage fly Delia radicum. At first glance it looks like a small common house fly, but it has proven to be the most dangerous pest for oilseed rape in recent years. It also damages cabbage, turnips and other cruciferous crops. The adults are grey and measure up to 10 millimetres. The damage is done by the larvae, known as cabbage or root maggots. The females lay packages of 8 to 10 eggs in the soil very close to the plant's stem. The main target of the maggots is the roots. Once the maggot has hatched, it burrows into the ground and penetrates the roots and lower part of the stem, where it forms galleries in the tender parts. Under the right conditions, you can find up to 300 maggots on one plant. Young plants can be destroyed completely. The growth of older plants can be slowed down. Destruction wherever you look. The larvae feed for 20 to 30 days. Then they develop into a pupa that either overwinters or in a warm summer directly develops into a fly for a new generation. Three to four generations can occur per year, from early April to early October. Here you can see a cabbage stem flea beetle, Ciliodis chrysocephala. They also attack all kinds of cruciferous plants like cabbages, mustard and oilseed rape. Directly after hatching, maggots penetrate the plant. They gnaw their way into the pith, then pass into the stem and may also reach the terminal bud, weakening the whole plant. The adult beetles are around 3 to 5 millimetres long and attack the young plant soon after the first leaves emerge. Under high pest infestations, the seedlings can even be killed. The beetles chew holes in the young leaves. This gives the plant a shot hole appearance. Here you see typical behaviour. The beetle feeds for a while, then it stops, cleans its feet, then its mouth apparatus, and finally, its antennae. After a short break, it looks for a new place to feed. The most efficient way to stop early damage is seed treatment with an insecticide. But only a few solutions are available. New products with alternative modes of action are needed to meet new requirements for environmental safety and also because the pests are getting more and more resistant. DuPont researchers have developed a new and powerful product to fight these pests. DuPont Lumiposa Insecticide Seed Treatment. The active ingredient cyan tranilipril has a new mode of action. It attacks a pest's muscles, not its nervous system. The molecular differences between insects on the one hand and birds and mammals on the other are so big that cyan tranilipril has only minimal toxicity for humans, cattle, poultry and wild animals. For insects, cyan tranilipril is toxic mainly when they eat the protected plant. So the beneficials that help the farmer keep the pests at bay are unlikely to be affected. Here you see the effect of cyan tranilipril on cabbage maggots. Soon after the maggots eat bits of the roots, they get slower and slower. 
they have problems with eating. And finally stop eating altogether. They will still move a bit for days, but they won't harm the plant any longer. A similar situation with the cabbage stem flea beetle. This beetle bites a typical hole in the protected leaf. It cleans its feet, mouth and antennae, and then rests for a while. Everything looks normal, but it doesn't start eating again. Lumiposa helps to prevent early plant damage right from the start. For vigorously growing crops and a rich harvest.